hey besties welcome back again to my channel today i'll be teaching you my favorite all-based vanilla cake recipe it's literally the best recipe ever so quickly before we go ahead if you're new please like comment and subscribe thank you all our ingredients have been pre-measured i have 250 grams of cake flour here i have 200 grams of sugar i have 125 grams of milk buttermilk you can also use plain milk, whole milk. I have here half teaspoon of salt. I have here baking powder. This is one tablespoon of baking powder, but you can use as low as two teaspoons. And here we have our eggs. I'm using three eggs, medium, large eggs. And this is going to give you about 200 grams when you weight without the shells okay so we need 200 grams of the eggs so you just use three medium large sized eggs so for our oil we have 125 grams of the oil and we're going to be adding flavor to this we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla flavor you want to make sure you're using good vanilla flavor for this recipe so let's get into the procedure quickly my hands are super clean and they're washed so I'm going to add our baking powder into the flour and I'm going to sift it again. We'll need a clean bowl. So I'm just going to set this aside a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So into this clean bowl, we want to go ahead and add in our sugar and our eggs. My eggs are very fresh from the poultry but if you are not sure of your eggs you please break separately in another bowl okay so and you make sure that you're using a very sharp knife if you want to use this method to avoid you breaking shells into your mixture okay and not to worry even if you have shells in, in your batter by the time you bake your cake, the eggshells will go to the bottom. So when you flip your cake, you just pick it out of it. But I'm not actually advising you to do that. So now we're going to go ahead and add our salt to it. And whisk. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead and mix. You don't need a mixer for this recipe. But you can use a mixer if you have one. But you don't need one. So we're just whisking. This recipe does not need over mixing. You don't need to whisk for too long. Okay. Okay. So now that we've mixed it together, we're going to go ahead and add our oil. Okay. And our vanilla flavor. So I'm going to be using a mixture of white vanilla and dark vanilla. Just be sure to use a good brand of vanilla flavor. If you have original vanilla extract, you're, you're good to go. So what you want to do now is to add in your milk. I'll just give this a quick mix this recipe comes together very quickly okay so now you're just going to go ahead and pour in your flour if you are doubling this recipe you want to add in your milk in two additions okay and your flour in two additions so you're just going to go ahead and whisk this together with your hand whisk okay This recipe doesn't require you over mixing it, okay? It comes out spongy. You don't need to over mix this recipe. I'm done mixing. And if you took note of how long it took me to mix this, it didn't take long at all. So I'm just going to use my spatula to scrape down. And just in case everything is not properly mixed. I'll mix it so this is what the butter looks like 
I'm going to grab my pans now. I'll be using a six inch size pan. This is about three inches high and it has been lined. I actually use margarine on the side of the pan before placing my parchment paper inside. So I prefer to use parchment paper when baking as opposed to using maybe margarine and flour. It's about preference, whatever you like, you can use. Right now, I'm going to measure the batter into this. And for that, I like to use my scale so that I can get the very accurate measurements and they bake evenly. I'm going to measure it into another bowl to take the full measurement of the batter. That way I can divide it. You can see how lush this butter is. This cake tastes so amazing. It is fluffy, it's spongy, it's delicious, it's yummy. This vanilla cake is really, really nice. Okay. So we have 902, so I'll just approximate it to 900. So, we, so from this measurement, all we need to do is divide it and I'll measure 450 each in the pans, okay? If you're still watching up to this point, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and your loved ones, okay? And let me know if you'll be trying out this recipe. So I'm just going to measure 450 okay we've gotten to the 450 mark and i don't want to go past it i'll repeat for the next one this vanilla recipe works well for whipped cream for buttercream and even fondant it's a recipe you want to try out trust me i'm coming out to scrape down the sides properly So we have our 452 and the other one 450. So I'm going to take this into the oven and slamming it once, take out the air bubbles. I'll show you what it looks like once it's baked. I'm going to bake this in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes till a skewer inserted comes out clean and I'll show you the result shortly. The cakes are out of the oven and they baked beautifully. So I took out the first one. You can see how soft, spongy and moist it looks. I'm going to be cutting through, but let me take out the second cake and you'll see what it looks like. This cake is one cake you just need to try out. Trust me on this. You can see how spongy it is. It is yummy. It is moist. And we're just going to cut through. Just check this out. There is no need to hype this recipe. Just look at it for yourself. Be the judge, okay? This cake is fluffy. It is moist. It is spongy. It is yummy. It's very affordable and very easy to make. You don't even need a mixer to make this. Immediately I cut the other one. They took it away from me. So I had to cut another one. So just look at it, okay? It is everything you want in a vanilla cake. Please like, comment, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.